Marketing is crucial to the success of your game. Brandon Rollins from BrandonTheGame.com says that marketing should start on day one and be present every step of the way. This can be a bit of a grind and a slow process. I'll hit peaks and valleys that will constantly excite me and bum me out. One fun area of marketing is presenting your game to your followers through live streaming. A great looking live stream takes a little bit of work, but is easily achievable. With the current state of the world, I'll show you how to set up a remote live stream using Tabletop Simulator or Tabletopia. Leave a comment if you'd like to see a physical game setup. A good place to start would be the design of your live stream. I always recommend having a webcam presence. This helps the audience relatability. For Cardbard, we decided to have both creators present and due to social distancing, we both were remote. When building a live stream, think about it as layers. Our first layer is all the inputs. So our webcam feed and our game feed. I recommend using Skype to host the other person as it utilizes the NDI plugin in OBS. To install the plugin, I link to some great videos down below. Your second layer will be an overlay to clean up the video feeds. Lastly, on top of all that, add your lower thirds or rotating information. We set this up as hotkeys to quickly hide and turn on layers. Don't forget to add stream starting soon, intro graphic, and a graphic at the end to thank your fans for watching. This cleans up the stream and really takes it out of the amateur level. Live streaming is just as new to us as it is to all of you. So please consider subscribing as we'll be posting more tutorials on what we've learned during this journey.